It's the long-lasting debate, the battle of two very powerful 3D softwares, Blender and Cinema 4D. But which software is the best choice for you to make in 2024? Today, we take a deep dive into everything that you need to know before making your decision. Up first is the cost. Blender is completely free and open source, which is why it is often considered the best choice, especially for those just dipping their toes and trying out 3D software for the first time. While Cinema 4D has quite an expensive subscription model, but is largely considered the right choice for those who want to eventually work within the 3D slash motion graphics industry. So what about the user interface? Blender has made huge improvements on what was once considered a very clunky and unintuitive user interface. And whilst I personally found it okay to learn, this isn't the case for everyone. In comparison, Cinema 4D has always been quite easy to navigate and is still considered the better choice when it comes to how easy it is to navigate a 3D software for a complete beginner. Let's hear about the rendering. Blender is packaged with two render engines, Eevee and Cycles. Eevee is their real-time render engine, which uses rasterization rather than ray tracing, which is what allows you to view changes to your materials and overall scene in real time. The benefits of this is the very light use on your computer's resources, but it doesn't give you the photorealistic wow factor that you might be looking for. Cycles is their path-based ray tracing engine, which will get you photorealistic scenes at the cost of extra render time, as it can be quite taxing on your computer due to all the light bounces that it needs to calculate. And as a bonus, Octane Render Engine is a third-party render engine that is also offered free for Blender users. However, this needs to be downloaded separately and operates similarly to Cycles. Cinema 4D also has two render engines, the physical render engine and the pro render engine. Despite these both being quite good in their own ways, most choose to utilize a third party render engine like Octane, V-Ray or Arnold. In 2019, Maxon acquired Redshift, which is now considered their standard render engine. However, this also is a separate subscription to add on top of paying for the software itself. Up next, let's check out simulations. Cinema 4D's 2024 release made headlines for its incredible new simulation systems with updates to rigid bodies, pyro, and now even particle systems. And this is a huge contrast to their previous versions, which were ultimately considered unstable and unusable. Blender has long had simulation systems in place. However, for the most part, in order to achieve similar results, you would need to buy an add-on for Blender as their standard systems simply don't compete with where Cinema 4D is currently. And we of course have to talk about modeling. Blender is a very popular choice for modeling as its tools are quite intuitive and both their shortcuts and accessible add-ons make it fast and easy for artists to create. It also has an amazing list of sculpting tools that you can use and is often favored over something like ZBrush as it's completely free, comes with the software and does just about everything that ZBrush can. Cinema 4D would be considered somewhat equal in its poly modeling abilities, but stands out with its volume builder and parametric modeling. Cinema 4D does have its own sculpting tools, but it's considered inferior to Maxon's now acquired ZBrush, which also requires a separate subscription fee. Let's hear a little bit about motion graphics. Cinema 4D has long been and still is the clear winner when it comes to motion graphics. It's without a doubt been the go-to choice for artists in the 3D industry for many years, and this is due to its dedicated MoGraph tools for creating motion graphics graphics with ease. Blender has made some advancements with its geometry nodes, which can make some pretty cool motion graphics. However, it is deemed quite complicated to learn, and whilst it can achieve similar results, it will take much longer. And now, extensions. Blender is easily considered the most expansive 3D software of the two, with a long list of add-ons that you can purchase or download for free to streamline your workflow and take the already powerful software into a super software that can do just about anything. Cinema 4D has extensions that you can use, with one of their most popular ones being X-Particles, which is a particle simulation plugin, but the expectation is that Cinema 4D is to be used as is out of the box. Well, what about the community? Blender is well known and appreciated for having one of the most active and supportive supportive communities for 3D artists. With many places that you can find tutorials, places to connect with other artists, and a lot of communication around problem solving. Cinema 4D has a large user base, given it's considered a strong industry standard 3D software. Whilst you can also find tutorials online, none of these compare to the quantity of information, tutorials, or forums out there like Blender. So to summarize, whichever software wins is really a matter of opinion and preference. Blender is considered a great choice for beginners as it's 
completely free and you really lose nothing by trying it out, especially if you're looking to take it on as a hobby or just to have fun. It's a jack of all trades with so many tools for you to dabble in, but sort of a master of none. Cinema 4D is considered an industry standard software with more improvements seeming to be made recently and is considered the right choice for those who want to have a career in the 3D industry, especially in motion graphics. But it still comes with a hefty price tag and an underwhelming lack of community. I'll personally continue to use both, but you let me know in the comments, which software do you think wins?